says that man is dead. Knowing. So we begin with the knowing. A true believer has been severed from sin. The old man, the person you used to be, is dead. There's a brand new person there. For those who are content to be dead and hid in Christ until. So if you have any ambition, you need to be seen, you need to be recognized, you need to be admired, you're disqualified. When he says dead, he means dead. So this is a great maxim, how shall I say it? When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, that is full of uh, eschatological meaning, because in his appearing and his actual second coming, uh, we shall uh, be raised with him and appear with him in glory. But like every other eschatological promise, there's a portent for a present application. So any appearing of the Lord is the issue of his glory. And unless we're jealous for that glory, we'll not be willing for the waiting for the dying until he appears. Paul was willing. The remarkable thing that Paul had ever and always before him, an alternative. His own brilliance, his own Talmudic and Judaic learning, his own character, his own courage, his own erudition. He could always have lapsed back and drawn from this great source. When Paul says, I am determined not to know anything but to Christ and him crucified, he's declaring death on all of the options that are continually available to him in the natural, which, had he availed himself, he would have found a much greater acceptance among his Jewish kinsmen. The thing that vexed them so much with Paul is that he was so ostensibly the visible statement of the life of Christ. If only he could have compromised, if only he could have mixed a little bit of the Judaic human life with the ultimate life, they may have not been as vehement in his death, but because he was so exclusively the expression of that life that was so totally unacceptable and threatened to them, that the conclusion was, this man is not fit to live. There's something about the life of Christ, however much the issue of glory and we rejoice in its expression, is equally an abomination. 
the nation in this side of the world. Right. 